everybody, what's up? It's Kicking It with Kay. So glad you could join me, and I actually come with you from a new tripod I actually got from my phone. It's super nice. I will have it linked down below. Um, I'll have to show you at some time. I'll try to do this, and I'll put a clip in of it. Um, it's actually like a foldable tripod, which is super handy, and now I'm not like trying to balance it on my bed anymore. <laughs> so... Super handy if you're looking for a tripod for your phone, for your vlogging, or for your YouTube channel. I'll definitely link that in the description box. But today I thought I'd talk to you about something I feel like I know pretty well, which is marketing. I actually went to school for public relations with a minor in communications and graphic design. And a lot of people don't understand why it's so important to go for that. And I'm going to explain why why it's so important to have this. So, let's get on into the video. So, first I need to explain what public relations is. Pretty much public relations is where the background of social media, the media, and all that. Um, we're the ones that talk to the media. We're definitely the ones that are out in the community. We're the face of that company. So right now, I actually work in marketing. I'm not going to say where. That's just, there's some things in my life I like to keep personal, and that's just a, definitely one. But, for instance, I do go out and talk to community members. I do, you know, do social media. Um, I go talk to the radio. I go to events. I go to board, board meetings. I go to community uh, board meetings. I go to a bunch of stuff. And the reason why that is so important is because right now we live in the world of a digital age. And what I mean by that is we're definitely um, around social media. And as we keep continuing to grow, it's definitely going to be more online, I feel like, in the next, I don't know, 5, 10 years. It's definitely going to be where most jobs are going to be online and everything's going to run through social media. And or marketing, that you're going to need some kind of marketing behind you. Why is it so important to talk to the community? Well, your community is definitely how your company runs. If we don't all support each other in the community, then how are we going to run, right? So one of the things I'm definitely going to talk about is how community is so important. So say you work for... I don't know, I'm trying to give an example. Um, so let's say you work, you're a football player. Well, yeah, let's, let's take a, an example of what I used to get when I was in college. Say you're a football player and you have to go talk to, I don't know, you want to talk to an NFL team because you want to be on the NFL team. Well, a marketer or someone that supports you, could definitely come out and talk to you about that, and market for you, market that you are what they need on their team, right? Um, another example is um, you're an organization, a small business, uh, you need your uh, name to get out there about what you're doing for this community. Let's say you have clothes, or jewelry, or you're selling candles, or, oh my, you're helping families with food or shelter uh, you can hire someone like me that does marketing and goes out and talks about your business talks to the community members about what you do and now you have more loyal customers you see where I'm getting at because the more you get yourself out there the more people are gonna want to come and buy your product or go out and use your business for whatever they need or refer people to use your business if you're doing like food bank or um, shelter or anything to the fact. Um, that's why community is so important because you need people behind you. And so getting that face-to-face -face contact, and I will tell you, that is going to be a whirlwind of a difference because when you have that face-to-face -face contact with somebody, you start trusting them. You start gaining, well, not trusting, you start gaining their trust. And they're more well welcome to coming to you for business or something with them helping when you have that face-to-face -face interaction. Like, wow, you know what? 
Kaylee came to me today and talked to me about this and you know what? I really like her because she came up to me and she came face to face with me and had a meeting or had a whatever with me and talked about her services that she's providing and now I'm going to use her. So use her business at least. So that right there, the face to face is definitely a key thing. Another thing that I would say is definitely social media. Like I said, we're getting to the day and age where everything is becoming digital and we want everything to be day and age. So right now, Facebook is definitely popular. Instagram is popular. Twitter. Now, I will tell you, I cannot talk about Twitter in this because it, I'd be lying to you if I told you I know how to use Twitter. I don't. And uh, <laughs> I never really learned it in college. Um, I didn't care to. Um, it's not one of those ones where I'm like, oh, Twitter, let's play with Twitter. No, I, no, I don't like Twitter. I don't understand Twitter and how it works. So I definitely can talk to you about Facebook. Um, Facebook is super awesome. You can post events. You can make events on your page. You can uh, go live if you're at an event or if you want to show off your new clothes, if you're doing clothes, or if, you know, you're talking about a new product, you want to go a new product. Um, you can post videos uh, about maybe something that's going on. Maybe you want to video your new clothes. You can, uh, wow, there's so much that you can do. You can write a post about what's going on. You can do, you can give away coupons. You can, oh, there's so much stuff that you can do on Facebook that is just going to crazy blow your mind. Um, you can even make it a Facebook business page and figure out who is following you from what little area that they're in and what age group that they're doing, all of that stuff is in there. And it is fantastic what Facebook can do for you. So, also, another thing they can do is you can pay Facebook to actually post ads for you. And so, if you're coming up with an event or you have a 50% off coupon for your clothes, you can post that to Facebook. And now, voila, you can spend so much money to get more people to come to your business because they target people that are locally around you. How nice is that? Um, another thing is Instagram and Instagram you can also go live. There's Instagram TV which is kind of like YouTube <laughs> um, is the way I've been expressed to it but you can also put uh, stuff on your stories. You can also do that on Facebook but I don't know like I don't use stories on Facebook a whole bunch but I do use stories on Instagram you can put it on your feed. It's definitely like a picture thing. But I know Instagram is definitely going to like shorter videos because the attention span of anybody right now is like five seconds. I'm not even joking. The like, span of like someone watching something is like five seconds. So Instagram is definitely uh, the key to doing more like photos, videos, um, you want to use more emojis on there. Emojis are definitely a big thing right now. Um, if you can find emojis instead of using words, you're on it. Um, another one is YouTube, which is like I'm on now. You can use YouTube to uh, market your business or market yourself like I'm doing for you. Like for me, for instance, I'm trying to market my brand, which is kind of a lifestyle channel. I'm going to try to give you more advice. That's where I think I'm going to head with this channel. I'm going to give you more advice about just kind of how to live life because we all need advice sometimes. Um, so, I'm, like I said, I'm going to give you advice on marketing today. So, um, you can post stuff about your, uh, wow, I lost train of thought, your business on here. You can make a cool video for your business and then, of course, share it with Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Another one that I just learned, I'm actually taking a social media class, which, um, it's called Summit, Summit Social Media, Summit, I'll have to look it up. It's called Summit, I know that for sure, and, um, Summit Affiliate, Affiliate, Summer Affiliate, something with that effect, and, uh, one of the things they talked about was Pinterest, which is kind of funny to me, because when I think of Pinterest, I think, like, 
Pinterest. Like, <laughs> I don't think it to be used as a marketing tool, but I definitely see where you could. You could post stuff about maybe the new fashion, especially if you're a clothing industry, or you could talk about um, some different contacts if you like help. Again, we'll just use more of our examples beforehand. Like if you're talking about like food, like this could definitely be like healthy foods for families, uh, anything like that. You could definitely post your board and you could share your board and people could see where they can get more examples of how to help their families or help themselves or anything to the effect or even get on the latest fashion trends, right? We all want to be on those. Uh, what else is so important about marketing? There's so much important about marketing. Um, events. If you can go to events and do, be out in the community, again, like I was just saying, the more you get out there, the more you're gonna, people are gonna know who you are and what you do. And going to events and supporting things such as, you know, whatever your heart is aching to be a part of. So for instance, one of the things I really, um, that God has put on my heart is, and if you didn't know I was a Christian, <laughs> one of the things that God has put on my heart is teen ministry because when I was younger, I, I definitely struggled when I was in my teen years. And so teen ministry is definitely something I focus on. So when I go out and I try to work, I love to work with teenagers because I understand where they're at and why they think the way they are because I felt the same way or if I don't understand I want to be there for them and at least pray with them and let them know that God is there for them and so that is something that is on my heart and so when there is something that does with teens I try to be a part of it um so I do go to those events um but yeah support events around your community because if you don't support these events in your community then they're just going to go bye-bye and there's no more going to be no more events and then we don't get that social interaction that we need as human beings, right? Um, there's so much to do with marketing. I probably could make an hour video on this, but we'll um, just stick with a couple of things. Another thing that's really important about marketing is making sure that you know what you are trying to brand for yourself. Branding is such a huge deal. Um, because you need to know what you and your brand stand for. Um, and when you hire that marketing person, you need to let them know what your brand stands for and what you do for that company and how that company is going to benefit that family or benefit that person or however that's going to work. Um, and branding is definitely a key. You want to stay around a certain brand of things. So for instance, all of my videos start with the same title and end with the same thing. So definitely going to hear the same music that I'm going to hear all the time. You're definitely going to see the same logo everywhere you go in my branding. So branding is definitely a key uh, thing when you're doing marketing. Um, and dress to look the part. So... You know, maybe you need to make some t-shirts and have your logo on it. And that's what you're, uh, you wear to your work. So you have more branding. So when you're going out, maybe you will go eat lunch on your, you know, you'll eat lunch, um, during your break and someone sees your shirt and they'll go, oh, what's that? Oh, actually I make clothes. Like you should come by and check out my stuff. Or, you know, maybe you need to wear some of your clothes that you make, you know? And so people are like, hey, where'd you get that from? Actually, it's from my shop. You should go check it out. Um, another thing is business cards, business cards, business cards. A lot of people are like, why? And we don't need business cards anymore. No, you still need business cards and you still need to use them because when you're like, Hey, like, where should I go? Where are you located? You whip out your business card and be like, this is where I am. This is where I located. You can come see me at blah, 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 and come see my cute stuff that I'm wearing. Right? So it's definitely a key thing to have you wear what you are branding. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Please give it a like and subscribe down below for more content. Hopefully y'all will start liking the lifestyle advice that I'm going to give you. And I really appreciate y'all sticking around. Thanks.